Ariel Murphy could fill a library with stories about her children. He's definitely a teenager. <laughs> I'm disappointed. I'm disgusted. I'm hurt. Her son Cairo's story we've been helping tell for three years now. Cairo was victim to a child care worker in Collin County. Jessica Weiss was sentenced to 20 years after injuring eight children. Ariel was told her son had a rough diaper change. It gives me chills down my spine. Um, I get flashbacks of her in court. Cairo had eight broken ribs, four on each side, and a broken femur and two broken ankles. I turned, you know, that pain into purpose. I literally was Googling in my bed, angry, tears rolling down my face, like, just what do I do? What can I do? It's not enough to just get her thrown in jail. That doesn't satisfy me. Cairo's story took a mother to Austin. Lives are depending on it. With the help of Representative Scott Sanford, to establish a parent's bill of rights. Two bills are being heard in committee this week. House Bill 4168 would enhance parents' rights to files, videos, even entry at child care facilities. House Bill 4169. Friends, basically this is a don't pass the trash bill uh, for uh, child care facilities. A registry of workers who have violations or pending criminal records. It's going to prevent bad seeds from going to different schools and doing this. Even in Austin, Ariel shares about her children. He is such a blessing. Um, he is sweet as pie. But this is also the story of a mother who continues to fight. They always say, you know, children are the future. Well, this is the way you start protecting them. In Collin County, I'm Joven Panicker.